Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. <laughs> Your cards are all over the place today. Hello. Welcome to another All Signs Love Tarot reading. All Signs Love reading and as is often the case here at the Tarot Closet, All Signs Love Messages reading. Interesting. We have the Eight of Wands in the upright, Sagittarius and Mercury energy, as well as the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Let's get one more shuffle and cut. I wasn't quite, quite ready, but <laughs> they come when they come. Welcome to your love reading today. This is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. It's a faded connection between you and I. So you're here right when you need to be here for let's see why. I'm glad you found your way to your reading. It's a general reading, so remember to take what is for you and let the rest go. Down below in the description, you will find the tarotcloset.com. All the decks that come through are also listed. All playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, more all signs love tarot readings, which this is also connected to. Very long in depth twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey. Before we get into it, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This helps the channel so much more than I can tell you to continue growing so that I can continue bringing you readings. It's just coming down the way it's wanting to today. So thank you very much for that. I'm not even getting a chance to ask spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Wow. Okay, so this is how it's coming down today. Somebody really clearly, your person, your someone, person you're here for, your specific person, maybe it's someone who's popping up into your mind. This is where their energy is the strongest. They're mesmerized at the idea, I feel, of being with you. Now, I'm wondering, yeah, this is looking to be a no contact. I think that's it. And or in separation, connection. We're also seeing here the Five of Wands right below the Eight of Wands. So although we see a message coming through, there might still be some obstacles to that. Here's the, the thing I want to show you. It's the Queen of Wands and now the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a really confident energy to go after matters of the heart for me today. This is the partnership placement. Now the Queen of Pentacles can make things work that, you know, we're not working. Re really, really very resourceful, in particular at New Beginnings. She looks a little bit annoyed here. Why? What is this? You know, are they not, are you, your person, are they not moving forward yet? Maybe. There's some ego here, I'm going to tell you. And we see that there's still this breakup energy that's going on. We also see that it might have been a rough ending. This is transformational energy for me today. Scorpio energy looking right over here at the star card. Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, the hope here still. I feel for renewal, but I want to say to you, well, first of all, look, it's the Eight of Pentacles here. Here with the Queen of Pentacles who can... Well, yeah, much like the Empress, not quite the level, like a, a protege, I want to say, grow things and, and help this connection to begin anew. And you see here, right below it, somebody's working on the pentacle, and then we have the seven of pentacles above. It's a strange energy, but I feel this annoyed queen energy, queen of pentacles energy here today as part of the seven of pentacles, which is Venus and Taurus energy. This is the eight of pentacles, so it's sun and Virgo. But that Seven of Pentacles is right there. And that's, I feel, you waiting for this. And that's why there's a little bit of annoyance here. Because somebody here might not be telling the truth about what, how they feel. Are you waiting for a message? I feel like you are. Could be somebody even playing some games 
you know, that's coming through for me in the Five of Wands. Also, the Page of Pentacles. They can't even be younger. It's not always the case. But, you know, the Queen is catty corner here to Temperance in Reverse. And Archangel Michael is the angel for protection and strength and wanting to light the way to the truth, the highest and the best path for everybody. This is Sagittarius energy. It wants to get the job done. You know, and of course, it's a 14 that comes to a five. That is the truth. We know that restoring balance and harmony and finding a solution. So we see that it hasn't been happening. And I feel like that's why the Queen of Pentacles is not very happy here. Oh, look at that. Is this what's coming through? Look, it's kind of revealing the Tower card there. It's many cards below, but we see it. It's there. Yeah, so there's some some change here. What happened in this connection? They're really holding on to how they feel about you. This is the Page of Swords. Nocturnal energy. And owls, of course, are, noctur are nocturnal. And there's a, I feel like there's a, there's a lot more deeper emotions than they're letting on. Scorpios can sometimes hide that. And the thing is, is owls are Scorpios. And we can see this particular owl in the Page of Swords knows that you are their biggest wish, but why, why is there not a message here? You know, is this person playing a game? Is it their ego? It's still disconnected for me. This is the Three of Wands in reverse. This is the Sun in Aries. And yeah, that puts the Sun in reverse. That's an, an energy of waiting for an outcome and it's not, it's not moving right now, it's delayed. It is a temporary wait but there's sadness around it. It's the Three of Wands. You know, this is moving ahead. It's travel can be physical journey travel, but also in oneself, I want to say, because I do feel there's a lot of ego here. It's weird because, well, it's the page energy, but, you know, oftentimes ego and immaturity, they kind of go together. It doesn't mean chronological age here because, yeah, this is somebody who's having trouble in this matter moving forward and, and communicating and they're being for me it's just a little bit of immature energy as well you know they're not really I feel like they're not really trying in some ways temperance is in reverse here with the higher font in the upright Taurus energy this is a card of marriage commitment for me Long-term energy also telling us that there are some issues here, and we know that. It's a cultural, religious differences, location, other people in somebody's ear or in their life. Because it could be somebody here is just kind of not feeling, hasn't always been feeling confident enough here to do something about it. To do what they want, I want to say, which I feel like is to move forward. You can see the hope here. And the clarity that they have and also the realization of needing to change what happened here. That Ten of Swords is a spinner for me today. That is, yeah, that's the energy of hoping that you'll forgive them. But I don't feel like they've even reached out to try to ask for forgiveness yet. Yeah, look, that's why. It's the Queen of Cups. It's the healing here. Whatever you're going to do, whatever's, everyone has free will, energy's outcomes can, will, and do change. Everyone, the future's not fixed is what I want to say. Cancer and energy, Neptune energy, one of the most nurturing, healing, supportive energies. And everyone being good to themselves, but to each other. So this is really necessary in this connection, whether it's moving forward, backward, or somebody else is moving on. Let's see, you know, let's get into it. I'm going to bring in another deck. And again, you know, one little switch here and everything changes. So everybody has free will. I do feel that there is a lot of thought around an apology and an I've changed, but I don't know if they're quite coming yet. They're still watching. It's, it's strange. There's still some obstacles here. Look, keeping them in these matters of the heart. And is it the truth? For, yeah, that's part of it because you are their biggest wish, but I don't know if you know that. And who's doing that work here? Is that what we're seeing? Are they working on a message? Maybe. Could it be that's coming through? Maybe. Because 
there is a confident energy here in the Queen of Wands, and we know the Nine of Cups, what they're, what they're wanting to say. Jupiter and Pisces energy here, I feel in a message. But then there's that lingering feeling of, yeah, fear and obstacles still. This is really important. In fact, it's feeling like it's the overall energy today, the, the Ace of Cups. The Tower card did make its way back in. Interesting, because we saw it peak, peeking out, and this is peeking out too, the Seven of Wands. Okay, interesting. So yeah, it's Major Arcana. Aries and Scorpio, and you know, that's the Mars energy. And, well, yeah, was there a Tower moment here? I think so. But this is also, look, you know, and it, well, it's connected to this nest here. So this connection, were you building a life, a connection, a relationship, a family? Had it even begun? Were you already in it? You can see the lightning struck and it caused the fire. And, you know, the fire is a destroyer. It is also a life giver, I want to tell you. And oftentimes the ground is more fertile for a new beginning. But we can see here, yeah, well, the Queen of Pentacles is here, actually, in the partnership placement. She's spinning for me, though, because I was seeing her in reverse. So that's a spinner for me. And, yeah, reverse Queen of Pentacles is somebody not really, yeah, not doing the work. It's Three of Pentacles energy for me. It's communication about everybody being on the same page to build it. Maybe that's why I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is so annoyed, you know? But because she's here, she's been here waiting for all of this to subside, waiting for your person, your someone, your specific person, the person that you're here for or who's popped up. I feel like to send a message here, is it the truth? Could it be there's other connections? Maybe. It's not always that it's romantic, though. Of course, it's here on, on the table. It can be family of origin, too. You know, spiritual, religious differences, locations, cultural differences, that sort of thing. But this is also about your connection and needing healing, whatever that may be. And we see in the star energy that it's hopeful still. I just feel like this is the wait. It's waiting for the storm to pass here. You know, has it passed yet? Because you both went your separate ways. So whether for some of you I'm hearing, you may even be having communications with someone nearby or even in the same house or dwelling. It's not for everybody. Because for a lot of you, this is a separation energy, just going off and waiting, waiting to do her job. The Queen of Pentacles is like, I'm here with the Queen of Wands, co-creating. But then they hit this wall with temperance. It's not really... Time We see that in order to, well, yeah, Archangel Michael wants to light, show the way to the truth, the highest and the best path. So that's going here. I really feel that. And that's also connecting strongly with the Queen of Cups and the need, need to heal. The Seven of Wands, it's Mars and Leo energy. And that's not being sure what you want to do. It's being, being afraid to be hurt. And also somebody still may be having their defenses up. Realizing that they need to change. You know, what we see in the Three of Wands, they're, I don't know how far ahead they're seeing. It's the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is, yeah, needing to find a new way here. Look, it's, of course it's bringing in the Three of Cups as well. And, well, that's Mercury and Cancer energy here. And this owl is highlighting that. It's in reverse. So it means they've been emptied out. So somebody maybe who hasn't been emotionally available, you know, I mean, you can see it or some things were said. Anyway, the cups are empty. It's They're still here. And perhaps maybe there was a message coming in. But for me, it's more, yeah, it's more that there wasn't. And for some of you, you might be, where did that go? Yeah, getting into the Seven of Wands energy here. I want to say it's a spinner. It's a reversal energy for me. It's Seven of Pentacles energy for me today, too. It's wanting to maybe move on here. Because the healing and this energy is also for you. However, I have to say it can be that they're trying to find another way to come. They 
Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please show us the cards? It's the Eight of Cups. Yeah, another way to come. Interesting. Because that's returning. That's coming back in and that's learning some kind of lesson here. Look at how it's coming back in. It's waiting for the storm to pass. So this is a connection that really needs better communication, honesty, possibly some type of counseling, if that's what you do. You know, that's what the higher font is bringing through, of course. Coming back here in this long-term energy and healing it for either moving on together or moving on apart. But it's somebody who's saying they've learned their lesson. Yeah, they're coming in here with clarity and honesty. It's the Queen of Swords. In the upright, that's Libra ruled by Venus. Of course, it's the planet of love. And... Well, yeah, it's Libra. It's the truth. It's finding a solution. It's a lot like the Five of Wands in reverse. I think that might be in reverse. These three are yours. And we're going to look at the bottom of the deck. It's the King of Wands showing itself, which we know, in reverse. So it's this energy of not really being ready yet. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of regret here. They made some bad choices. They're still needing to make a choice. Now I feel like this is also for you. It can be that there's some compromise that needs to be made here in the way of location. What is that? Or lifestyle? Some differences. In any case, look what's connected as well. It's the chariot card in reverse. That's putting the moon in reverse. And that's clarity and that's the truth coming. But we see it hasn't come yet and... It hasn't come yet, and it's not coming yet. It's going to be coming, I feel. This Gemini energy, of course, and Archangel Raphael can't really do their job, you know, in reverse. The angel of healing and fixing what's broken. New beginnings. Archangel Raphael just wants everyone to be happy, and it's the breakup energy. The For some, it's a legal separation or divorce. It's not for everybody, but I'll tell you, this person has a lot of regret for bad choices. And maybe that's why they're so scared here because they're coming in and saying, I've learned. Look. We're going to bring in another deck. It's shuffled and ready to go, but I want to move the energy. It's in German. As you know, I'm in Austria. And if you've been following my readings, you know that it doesn't matter. You can see it's the Eight of Cups in reverse. Sometimes there's some text here, but I'll tell you what it is. It's the Eight of Cups coming again in reverse. It's the same message. It's a validation. They're saying they've learned from the past. This is somebody who's saying that they've changed. I feel apologetic energy as well. It's a spinner for me, kind of putting everybody in the Ten of Swords. Look, they're wanting to be honest here. That's the Queen of Swords energy. It's the Queen of Pentacles again. So we know the Queen of Pentacles is down here, look. Yeah, and it's bringing in world card energy. Soulmate energy, we know that. For some of you, this is about communication with your twin flame. It's not for everyone. There's, it's really clear that there needs to be some healing in this connection. These are yours. And that's, I feel like that's all there. We are going to look. It's the breakup energy. It's page energy, page of wands. In reverse, yeah. It's a little bit of immature energy, but we already know that. Impulsive energy as well. Yeah, it's the Queen of Pentacles coming back. And it, it feels like a... Well, yeah, that this is either coming together. We already know that. To come back together or, come, or move on. Looking right here at the... Butterfly, the transformational energy, which just connects us with the death card. You know, it connects with, there's a lot of ego here, I have to say. And this pentacle, this commitment, this connection, does not looking angry here. <laughs> in fact, looking over here at the Eight of Cups, both of them in reverse and saying, well, have you? Because the Queen of Pentacles, you know, has a lot of resources, can make things work that weren't working. New beginnings can help with that fire that we saw here in the Tower Energy. The fire that was caused from what happened here. There's two, the Queen of Pentacles has been validated. There is an energy 
You know, I'm actually surprised it didn't come in reverse because there's a spinning energy for me here. And that's, you know, it's only time will tell energy. It's hangman energy. It could go either way. There's the Ten of Swords again. Look at these validations. The Four of Cups in reverse again. Didn't we see that in reverse? Am I, ima am I imagining it here? I don't think I am, but maybe I am. <laughs> in any case, here it is. I feel like it's here. It doesn't matter. Here's the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Four of Cups in reverse is here. I think it's been buried. And that's that energy of finding another way to go about this. It's the star card also coming back and now it's in reverse, so that's a spinner. That's the arrogance also. It's the headbutting going on and it's also causing sadness, waiting. That's, I feel like them not answering a message or sending a message. So that's what we want here. It's what we're seeing as the possibility for healing and, and where you're going from there. You know, you have free will. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes change. I feel like we need more. <sighs> My gosh, you guys, look at your reading. It's also spinning. And here they are in the Seven of Swords, coming back with this apologetic energy for running, for not being honest, possibly betrayal for some of you. Look, breaking your hearts, the Three of Swords there that they're flying off with. Saturn and Libra energy. And the Eight of Wands is returned, Mercury and Sagittarius energy, but it's in reverse. The Eight of Wands, excuse me, I think I said swords. That, they're having trouble writing this message. They're having trouble getting this message to you. I feel like that's what you're really waiting for here. So whatever you're going to decide, is there a compromise around that Hierophant energy for this healing? Look at this. Literally healing this, this connection, this commitment, this partnership. Whether you were in long-term energy, you're heading toward it, or it was on the table, pun intended. Okay, let's bring in some channeled love messages. Then we're going to close your reading. Whoa! What do you want to say to your person? Meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life, and I'm forever thankful to the universe for that. So that's for you. Serendipity. Met for a reason. I feel like my chest will burst open. That's the star energy, and that's the in and out energy here. It's, it's really a... Yeah, impulsive energy. We met for a reason. There's a whole lot of, of, I feel, fate references here. It's how this person feels. Look, our souls are connected. That's the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. That's the soul connection. We saw it twice. And in the first Four of Cups, we saw those cups were totally empty. You know, the emotional. So it could have also been that that's from lack of communication, lack of giving in communication, or even something that went on. Can you hear me whisper your name? I am hiding my true feelings. The longing for you never quiets. Nope. That's yours. I am making a plan to come to you. Interesting. This is really all about a message for me. That's what I feel, but that's here. I'm still checking up on you. Well, that's the Page of Swords, so yeah. And we do know that, you know, actually the Eight of Cups here twice in reverse, of course, because they are coming back in, whether it's returning to a dwelling, I want to say a home for some of you, city, state, country, or the connection in general. Even through digitally, we see. The moment I saw you, I just knew. That's a lot of serendipity here. I just can't seem to get over you. I thought that I knew this is it. How to love until I met you. I'm thinking of you. That's all I do all the time. Do you miss me the way I miss you? If you ever feel you're sending a message, then, then you're sending the message. It's 100% what is resonating for you. Beautiful souls, that's your reading today. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading. It really helps the channel to grow when you're watching readings and liking them, sharing them if you're inspired to do so, subscribing to the channel, to the Tarot Closet. These are things that help the channel grow so that I can continue bringing you readings. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light, all things good your way. Have a good day, and I look forward to seeing you at another reading. Bye.